All right, welcome back to Arcane Gaming. Today, what we're doing is building Anarchy Islands. Now, the goal of this for me was I wanted to actually just use like an airport as the basis for the entire city. And the goal in the end is I'm going to destroy this city. But I want to see how big we can get it. So I unlocked all achievements, unlocked all money. It, there's no problem with any of that. I don't have to worry about scraping by with taxes and things like that. I just want to build. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to level the terrain here in order to make my airport. And once I do that, I'm going to be able to set up long-term plans that I have. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be laying out roads and infrastructures first, and then in the long run, have that lead into whatever comes next. So this will be a series for me. This will be the first episode. And we see as I laid down my airport and I plan on this being the focal point of the entire, I don't know, what do you want to call it, this archipelago. So what I did was I automatically took the train tracks and connected them all the way across the map. And I had previously unlocked all the tiles and I'm going all the way across the map to lock up with the, the train system here. I wanted to get that out of the way now because later on I might have to worry about buildings in the way or this in the way or that in the way. And I think, let me just get this now. All right. So the next thing I do is I said, you know what? Let me just start building a road along this island. And it turns out pretty sweet because what I like here in the end is I end up building an actual sports complex. This started off as, hey, let's build my first suburban area near the airport. And it ends up being a big sports complex that I'm gonna also turn into the maintenance area for my services, but also I'm gonna turn it into a hospital medical area, maybe some schooling and so on. It actually is all right behind the high school, which is kind of funny. So this function right here, City Skylines did it really well with these curved roads. It allows you to do this so easy, especially compared to City Skylines, one where I always just messed it up. So I'm wrapping around the entire island here as just kind of like a framework. And then I, I take it slow and I just kind of play it by ear and think about what would I want in the middle of it. So what I end up doing here, I believe next, is I put the uh, subway system in there. And the reason I do that, oh, I go to the bridge first. So this bridge, I know I'm going to build a commercial area over here, I believe, in the long run. I'm not doing it yet, but I know down the road. So just kind of planning that out and getting it all set up for myself. So I'm going to put a subway right in the middle because I know I want to go straight to high density. I'm not really worried about low density. I'm just going bigger, go home. That's the benefit of doing a city like this. It just I'm just going to do all the big stuff. I'm not worried about the little things. I might have a low density area later on. Who knows? The goal here is just to build a big sprawling city that I'm going to have a, a pleasure creating a video as I absolutely destroy it. And if I save it right, I'll be able to do multiple videos destroying it multiple ways. That would be really funny. But for now, we got to build it. All right, so here's the subway first. I'm going to put the underground subway station. Now, I don't know where I'm connecting it to yet at this point. I just know I'm going to want it there. One of the problems I ran into in City Skylines 1 is that I build these nice little cities and then I'd always do the services last. And oh my gosh, it caused so many problems. This way, by mapping out everything first and having all the money to do it, I just build all my roads, put all my infrastructure in, all my parks, all my services, and then I zone later on and my houses pop up around it. It's much, much cooler for me, at least the way I want to enjoy the game. All right, uh, if you notice, I'm also using the six lane highways and four lane, not highways, roads. I use the six lane because I know I'm gonna have high traffic no matter where I'm going. The four lane I'm using in the interior because I know it'll be a lot less traffic. Now, right now you just see the elevated, not the elevated, the surface level roads going in, but right here you're gonna see me actually dip under. I'm a huge fan of going underground with roads. So I'm gonna actually dip under this road and give myself access here. And then when I do this, I make a couple little curvy turns, but that's my only in and out over here. It's going to be right there. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want a hell of a lot of intersections because that just causes traffic jam after traffic jam. And I already believe I'm gonna use a lot of taxis in this city as well. Uh, I've already started putting stands around here later in this video, I'll put European style stands everywhere. So I wanna eliminate what's gonna happen to cars. Now I'm also giving myself an, another exit. So I'm gonna have three, at least three major exits, one by the bridge, one on uh, the Southern end, and then one, this one closest to the airport. So that's a fire department and a police station I just dropped. You notice there's no like real water services or anything like that yet. I didn't even set that up yet. I'm actually gonna set up all my water and sewage next to the airport. I'm just not gonna show it in this video because it takes a little bit to set up and it's just a matter of connecting things. 
When I drop the nuclear power plant later on, then I'm gonna show you what I have over there. And I, it basically, the way I play, as I build, the, the city kind of takes on a life of its own. In this situation, I didn't plan on doing it this originally, so, but you know what, this kind of works. This little side road here, I, it was just to make sure that my, my high school had access to the road. But eventually, I'm gonna turn this into a sports complex. Actually, I dropped the first piece right here. And I kind of just started percolating this idea of how do I have a sports complex? And then I tried to hit up every single park and stadium that this game has to offer. What's really cool is I add in the walkways over here as well. So I end up doubling up and tripling up on different items. Like I'm gonna put three basketball courts in here. I have three or four different weightlifting areas. I'm gonna have two soccer stadiums, two football stadiums, the chirpers. I'm going to have a hospital over here as well. I'm gonna have a bunch of different roads and then I'm gonna put one of those automated parking garages. Uh, those things are pretty cool. Next to that, I'm actually gonna set up the depot for my taxis and my buses and all my park maintenance behind it. So it's kind of like hiding it behind everything. Over here, I'm still gonna use four lane roads at the very least because of the amount of traffic I'm expecting. This actually was pretty annoying at first setting this up. These things are really cool, but they weren't lining up properly, so I had a lot of trouble. In fact, I probably should have edited this part out. So I set up these, these basketball courts, but it does give me the foundation I need to then spread out with the rest of the buildings I'm trying to put over here. Oh, funny story. I actually did edit out about five to 10 minutes of me toying with these things, trying to get them to line up. So this is the short, short version of it. Oh, help me. All right. So I'm just going to hang out here for a second, let it build, and then I'll, I'll, I'll chime back in. Those are skate parts I'm dropping right now. Love those. Love me some skate parks. Very good for the, the children in the cities and whatnot. You'll get you know, them uh, popping in and skateboarding and whatnot. These are the fitness areas. It doesn't look like much now. But within a few minutes, you're going to see how this area takes on entirely a new life of its own. And I've already started to ignore my actually zoning areas. I haven't, I haven't zoned anything yet. I'm going to wait till later to do it. You'll see that the last minute and a half of this video. There's a couple parks. But now the way I'm setting it up, it's almost like I'm mapping out where the roads are going to go. I'm actually really happy how this area turned out. That's a swimming pool structure. Really like that. I'm digging that. That's new to City Skylines too. I put a couple in there thinking, you know, what would cities really need? Do they, they have big community pools and whatnot? I believe those are the soccer fields that just got dropped. And here's another actual stadium, the Chirpers. I actually made a mistake. I thought I had, I, I didn't realize I had two big stadiums go down. I thought it was just one, but I ended up putting in two big stadiums here, which is really funny. So that's not where it's going to go. It doesn't fit there. I should get the toy at different parking, which is nice in this one. You're going to see me create two different parking lots, the par automated parking tower, as well as an underground parking garage. So you know, let's add a couple more parts here. And I'll explain what I'm doing again in a second as we move through it. They did a good job on these stadiums. They really made them look realistic. Really happy with how that played out. Now again, you notice the electricity's not functioning yet. That's because of that whole new tool, City Skylines 2, you need to have those roads. All right, so that's that automated parking garage. I'm putting that in right now. Notice I have no roads yet. I'm just mapping out where I want everything. Now I know this is risky, but I'm like, you know what? Forget it, I'll, I'll figure it out later. So this is the automated parking garage. It does kind of stand out, but I like the way it looks. This is a parking garage that's underground. I'm putting it over here by my soccer field now. That is really cool. I really like that. That's new to City Skylines too. Actually, a lot of these parking functions are. I don't remember much about parking lots in City Skylines 1. And again, I didn't use a lot of the mods. This game, I will be getting the mods. So I ended up realizing what this could be. So I started expanding the road here. And then I'm gonna start that whole process of, of going straight down and connecting everything. 
this turns out really well especially because later on i'm actually gonna connect a pedestrian walkway by going under the stadium and then popping out in the middle of the little courtyard here and then giving people easy walking access to the soccer fields as well as the stadium here and now again look roads underground i just went under the other stadium and popped back up on the outside so i'm giving myself another access point to my area so this way there's no worry later on do i have to destroy buildings or a zoning area it's just to get in a road that i should have thought of earlier i'm just doing this all now now if you're someone that wants the game to unlock as you grow a population and whatnot well, you're not going to be able to do it this way that game has its own fun too that's an absolute blast for me i just like being able to plan everything out and seeing it grow in real time and function after i map everything out as opposed to waiting for key services to get unlocked based on how good i'm doing this day so that was a little tough, a uh, little uh, snag I ran to there. I ended up making it a very small one-way road, but it's gonna work out fine because I'm gonna have a connection going around it. Road was just a little skinnier than I needed. Now you already see it's it's getting a life of its own. Looks pretty cool. There's still more to add, a lot more to add. So you actually see me messing with water plant there. Uh, I believe I edited this out. Oh, okay. So what I did there was you saw I had to connect the pipe. Sometimes you'll find in city skylines too, there's not enough pressure to connect to your whole city. So what I did was I eliminated how far that water had to travel and I just added another pipe to give it a shorter route. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually expanding out for a park in the interior of the city or this, this uh, residential area that I wanted. That's an elementary school, I believe right there. And I wanted to have a park right across for the kiddos and for families and whatnot. Especially with all the hustle and bustle that's going to go around this area. And it's in the interior, so it's a little more protected. And I'm just going to line this whole area with parks. I love lining up whole areas with parks. So this video, you're going to see me mapping everything out. And you're going to see me zone at the end and buildings start to pop up. In fact, skyscrapers pop up right, right off the bat. Next video is where I'm anticipating you'll actually see it fully functioning and growing as I start expanding commercial zones in new areas. So again, just uh, this right now, I believe, is the maintenance area. Yeah, park maintenance. You need a park maintenance in your city to help take care of the parks. That's a new feature. I put that behind my parking garage, and I'm giving them an easy access road. I said, you know what? Let me make that my whole maintenance worker area. I'm going to actually put a taxi cab depot back there. I'm going to put a bus depot for all the repairs and refueling. I give them upgrades to the electrical vehicles, which is going to actually give a big drain on my electricity down the road. But I don't care. I'm destroying the city anyway. That looks pretty cool. It's already starting to form. In the middle of the city, you see I'll have two elementary schools. There's a fire department in there as well, and that's a police station next to the high school. And then here I am adding another subway, predicting you know how my people are going to travel in and out of that stadium. This is where I start to realize, oh, wait, I popped up a big stadium. And I'll be honest, when I first did it, I didn't realize how big the stadium was in terms of what it was supposed to be for the game. I was like, oh, there's gonna be a lot of traffic. So now I'm adding the subway. I'm gonna put a bunch of taxis there and so on. But the subway is, is pretty ne uh, necessary. Again, these little functions, you'll see tool mode on the bottom left. It allows you to angle out the different tracks and roads you do, and it makes curves so much easier. So now that I know I have those two connected, at the very least, my people inside the city are gonna be able to get outside. The irony is I have, I have cars driving around already and I don't think I even have a connection to an outside road yet, like outside the actual map. No idea where these cars came from. All right, so here's my bus station. I'm sorry, bus depot. And that's necessary because that's where your buses get repairs, recharge, uh, when they're not being used. It's kind of like a maintenance uh, hub that you need. I'm doing the EV upgrade for electrical vehicles. All right, now I realize I need real power. So this is where I dropped the power plant. Now, funny story about the power plant. I don't actually connect the roads to this at all in this video. I have not connected as of this video at all the roads to my water plants, my sewage plants, 
or my power plants, and somehow they still function. So I call that another glitch in City Skylights do. So there's no road that actually connects them to even get workers there, but they're working anyway. So I dropped the harbor here because I know what I want to do in the long run. I want to set up a passenger harbor here to come in and out with the map. I have a little trouble finding the waypoints on this map, so I kind of just map it out and zone it out. And then later on, in a future episode, I'm going to set up the actual routes. For the airplanes and the passenger boats, you need to actually set up different routes for the, the ships to, to follow and the airplanes to follow. Airplane is pretty easy. I messed around with that in another, another video. Uh, but for this one, this, this is something I have to explore. I just dropped the taxi depot as well. Now it's really starting to shape up. It really looks like a maintenance area back there. And this will be blocked off by parking lots and a few other items I'm going to put up later. Now, I believe this is where I stop dropping. I start dropping taxi stands all around. I say, all right, where do I want a taxi stand in the city so that people can just pick up a taxi and go wherever they want? I have taxis, less need for cars. I'm going to put in a tram somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm definitely going to put in a tram someplace. I may have already lost that opportunity the way I've set this area up. So maybe one of the other communities I build in this map, I'll make sure a tram is, is there. I always set up a tram that connects a parking lot to the stadium. That's still possible. You'll see that when I put that taxi stand down, it's really just a sheltered area for people to sit. And then the taxi pulls up and picks them up and so on. All right, so again, taking shape, taking shape, nice. All right, now is where I think I'm gonna drop the hospital. Yep, here we go. I decided, you know what? Put a hospital next to the stadium, it makes sense. People getting injured at the stadium, right? And I feel like in real life, a lot of times you have major medical services next to a subway or next to a big stadium or a highly populated area. So this area is gonna serve multiple purposes. You have the sports complex, you have the stadiums, hospitals are gonna be there. I have two parking lots that I'm gonna put in right here next to the actual tower, the automated parking tower. First thing I'm gonna put in is this little gravel road or pedestrian street, really. It's just for pedestrians to walk. This is pretty cool, I like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around the soccer fields and actually go underneath the stadium. I'm going to drill it to go underneath. All right, now you see the dip. And on the bottom left, what I like is they have an elevation tool to make this really stu super simple. I tried to pop it up right there, but the angle just wouldn't let it happen. It just kept saying no, no, intersecting, intersecting. They just, it was too steep, you name it. So I wrapped it around a little more, and then it turned out to work in my favor. Because I actually go past this parking garage here, and I go to the middle of that little courtyard I have in front of the soccer fields. And now I have this neat little area where the pedestrians are just going to come up from underneath everything and be out in the middle of the sports complex and it's pretty cool because they're going to be walking all the way over from the parking lots and i still have to connect that to the actual parking lots themselves and then make sure you connect your pedestrian walkway to the road so they have easy access now to the sidewalks so boom right there now see you zoomed in they have access to the sidewalks and this is just me prepping for what's going to happen next Connected that to the sidewalk. Oh, I already connected it, fantastic. I'm gonna put in one more parking lot here in this video. I'm probably gonna end up putting in like three or four more. I think I have some other plans for this area. I think I'm going to put commercial area above this as opposed to putting it down on that island across from the bridge I created before. Not sure what I'm gonna put over there yet. So, as I'm building this series to you, I'm trying to think, how am I going to destroy everything? So if you have an idea on how to destroy this city, let me know. Drop a comment, 
and I'll do my best to try to figure it out and try to implode it. I saw someone make a cool video on like a city of Atlantis thing sinking and whatnot. So I'm going to uh, try to build a couple cities myself, I think, where I'm going to sink some stuff and see if I can create tidal waves and whatnot. A lot of really awesome creators out there right now with city skylines too. Okay, so this is something I learned the hard way too. So I'm setting up electricity there, not a problem, good to go. I believe this is where I try to connect my power plant, extra water or something, and I actually lose access to the water flow. Because yeah, right here, it draws away all the water pressure. And see, it cut it off. I now have, oh. Don't make a liar out of me. Don't make a liar. There we go. It cut it off. The, the, high, the power plant is so powerful. It literally sucked out all the power, all the sewage and water. It just redirected it all. So I actually had to eliminate this to keep my other sewage and water plants, water treatment facilities from actually functioning. And you know what? I'll mess with that later. And you notice they're functioning fully and I still have not actually can. Eventually, I'll connect to city airport and whatnot, but I, I plan on building off that airport and making it cargo as well as passengers. All right, what I built there was an extra water pump because I saw that the power plant was draining so much, so I added another water pump into the system. All right, so now that I'm back in the city, I'm gonna start dropping some other medical facilities. That's just a clinic, and now I'm getting onto the zoning. What I'm gonna do first is actually line up residential with stores below it. I'm gonna do this because this is gonna be one of my main thoroughfares. I figure, you know what the heck, apartments up top and stores on the bottom. The rest of it though is gonna be residential, mostly a mixture of high and medium density. I think I entirely ignore low density. If I did do low density at all here, it would have been on accident. Overall for me, this is a great way to play the game. This makes me happy. I'm just gonna lay it all out and then zone later and watch everything build up around what I created. And I'm gonna see if it works. I believe it's gonna work. And I'm gonna tackle different areas of this uh, archipelago just like this. So if you have an idea on a zone that you want me to build for you and you wanna see what it might look like, drop a comment. I'll do my best to try to add an area that actually just addresses what you wanna see built. Whether it be a research island or a, an academic island or one that's completely commercial or one that's all fun and games or something that specializes in an industry or whatnot, let me know, I'm more, ha more than happy to do it. If you notice here on the left, you actually see two skyscrapers that popped up which is pretty cool. That means I had a lot, a lot, a lot of housing demand that was uh, just ready to be used. And this is where we're gonna pretty much wrap up the video for today. I'm gonna drop a few more parks, expand that. Overall, I love this build already, Anarchy Islands. The reason I call it Anarchy Islands is because I know full intention in the end is I am going to obliterate the entire city. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Arcane out.